You know, David Habit was really disappointed, I think, at the end of last year. Fell short of his goal of being a uh, top eight guy, an All-American. Worked really hard this summer, I think harder than he has in prior summers. Um, put a lot of time in. And again, I, I think he, he is so close to being great. And, and we've really tried to stress with him just doing the little things. After last year, I, I thought I improved from the year before, and, um, but I wasn't, uh, what's the word, uh, I wasn't um, satisfied with it. So I had a meeting with Coach Flynn and I stayed over the summer. And I think that I've had the best off season I've ever had. And um, it's really just a lot of small things. You know, it's, um, it wasn't like there was a big, uh, big difference in the wins and loss, especially at the national tournament. It, it's all small things, and uh, I think I'm, I think I'm a lot better than last year. So even though it's a lot of small things, I think I, if I wrestled my old self, I'd beat him up. There's too small of a margin between good and great. And, but that little bit is is eating right for six months, you know, and, and that's hard to do. Um, but I think David has the ability, um, and, and he has certainly has the drive. I, you know, I'm expecting a big year out of him. I, I think that's gonna. He's one of the guys that's gonna make or break us at the NCAA tournament. It really doesn't matter. Um, you know, I uh, last year there was a stud in the weight class, Jordan Oliver. Uh, he graduated, but there's always guys bumping up weight classes and, and dropping down. And, you're always going to have five tough matches at the Nationals if you want to win it. And, uh, uh, it doesn't matter to me. They're just names, really. I just, I'm going to have to beat all of them regardless of who they are.